This video is my TED video. Now, some of you know, and most of you don't know, but I got in trouble for doing a TED talk on YouTube. Now, I was trying to promote the idea of e-singularity or eduit, and promoting the idea of autonomous learning software solutions to help basically um, eliminate the need of schools and teachers by providing a, uh, an open collaborative framework for education that can be delivered through any learning device. Now I was sneaky and I was accepted to go to TED and um, um, I basically leveraged that to say hey I'm, I'm going to TED by the way you know here's my my wannabe TED talk. So you can see you know where the where the where maybe they say I was going to TED I promote hey I've been accepted to go to TED Global and then I had talks up talking about e-singularity. So I was the, I'm the first guy in the world to ever have done TED Talks. And you could actually say that maybe I'm ahead of my time, which I, I live outside the box. I live in the future. I live, you know, I don't really live in the here and now. I'm kind of a dreamer. But, um, um, you know, I believe, for example, TED, or I did believe, TED was, is, a, is a tremendous vehicle for good. And I really wanted, I was really going to go to TED as a way to, you know, promote my idea and hopefully bump into Richard Branson and say, yo, Yo, fellow dyslexic buddy, yo. We both went to British prep school. We both were told that we're going to end up being criminals or successes. Um, you know, you ended up super rich. You know, I'm still, I don't care about money, but I, I just care about change. You know, that's my problem. If I, would, if I cared about money, I'd probably be where you are right now, Richard. But I don't. Um, I care about my ideas and idealism and, you know, and, uh, and there's, you know, and, and unfortunately my ideas are, you know, are ahead of the paradigm shift. So that's my hubris, is I deal with, with, with things that are kind of more futuristic or maybe just around the corner. So, you know, I hope that people who are interested in TED would um, take a look at this video and take a look at me and read my profile and, and really understand kind of the scope of the projects that I'm that I'm trying to get underway and and if any of you are billionaires you know be my backer um, because um, if I had one backer who had just not even a billionaire you know multimillionaire who would just say hey Michael you know what you've been busting your ass for 16 years and every project you've kind of undertaken has real merit and I could see the opportunity and I see the only thing that you're missing is is really money to do your things then I would uh, launch a number of different projects you know the e-singularity prize is um, you know goal is to basically turn any smart device into um, a teaching tool using open education resources and um, video not text as a delivery mechanism you know, like, you know, Khan Academy, I mean, Mr. Khan kind of fell into this and he accidentally, I mean, kind of realized that there was a market for this. You know, for, for five years, six years before Khan, I'd been basically pursuing this. Now, um, um, secondly, is uh, taking the industrial military complex and turning it into um, a complex for good in regards to what I'm referring to as the, the contractors that support it and how, how, making a framework, a collaborative framework for them to participate in helping countries to get back on their feet and having a social venture in this case for Japan's case, Help Japan Co, uh, basically provide the structure and, and the framework and the system and the support system for them to succeed and for them to do it. So. Help Japan Co. would go out and find the contracts, um, would interface with, would identify the need, interface with it, provide, you know, um, um, then connect with the federal contracting folks involved, and ultimately oversee and, and provide uh, the solution back to the end client. And every step of the way, uh, part of the solution. I mean, we're not just going to find it and say bye bye. No, we're going to be part of the entire thing. Um, doing reports, following up, um, interfacing with the, you know, if there's problems, we're the one dealing with the problems, interfacing with the federal contractor. Um, and the federal contractor basically uses our 
vehicle in Japan, the Help Japan Co. vehicle to do the work. So they don't have to worry about setting up in Japan or anything else. You know, they basically operate through our vehicle. Their teams become our team, so to speak. Makes sense? Even though, and they become an extension. Um, so, you know, I, I have a solution for curing, you know, illiteracy globally. Um, and it's a very simple solution. It's called um, pop-up text. Pop-up text. Pop-up text basically converts any video like this into um, a solution for reading and writing. And basically what it does is it uses simple voice recognition and karaoke pop-ups to, and then you can program it to just pop up nouns. And then after a kid watches, and it will use on anything, any, any digital TV could use pop-up text for as an education tool. And after the kid watches his cartoon, it throws up three things. And he uses a Wii, a Wii, a Wii, a Wii controller, right? And he says, okay, you know, tree, you know, you'll hear the word, which, which is the word tree? You know, which is a tree? And it'll show a picture of a tree with the letter, with the word tree. And then it'll show a picture of a dog with the word dog. Picture of a, of a stone with the word stone, right? Tree. And um, what happens with pop-up text throughout the entire video, it's been popping up the word tree, tree, tree. So, um, or actually, you know, you wouldn't have the image with the word tree. You would just have the, the, the word tree dog and you know which is tree and he boom selects the word tree because he the word has been imprinted on his mind with our pop-up uh, pop-up text uh, utility tool open source pop-up text utility tool that enables um, you know um, anyone to program so as you know as he masters certain words it keeps you know it keeps changing changing and reviewing and everything else and keeps delivering words. So by the end of the day, just by the kid watching his cartoons on TV, he's learned to read. It's very simple. Or any smart device. Imagine if I'm talking now, and I said the word tree, and it pops right out of my mouth. Tree. And it comes out and goes, boo, tree, tree, tree. All right. Do you get it? All right. So, you know, I'm a guy with a with a with with a, you know hundreds of different ideas to make the world a better place and. And uh, I formed a, you know, a corporation called FoundUps Corp to um, allow me to selfishly pursue those ideas and dreams by first helping others. So I realized that that um, startups fail, <laughs> and I didn't realize that until Adeo, when I was on the phone with Adeo, the founder of the Funded. And he was, I was being, you know, he was trying to sell his program, right, Founders Institute. So I was there, and I was really there to pick his brain. So I asked Adeo a basic couple questions. I was like, well, what's one is, um, you know, um, can you talk about success of, you know, ideas? And he goes, well, there are 24,000, 20, I'm sorry, there are um, 14 million submittals every year of business plans to funding entities. Of those 24,000 get selected, of those 9,000 actually get built and make it, you know, and out of those only around two to 3,000 actually are profitable. So, you know, he didn't tell me how many startup ideas are there, but I imagine there's probably, you know, if there's, if there's 14 million that are actually, you know, making it for funding, there's probably at least, you know, 100 million that are out there that don't. You know, maybe they're dyslexic like me and they just can't write a business plan. Uh, maybe, um, you know, they've got, um, I don't know, maybe they're pursuing it in, in different other ways. So, um, doing the math, 100 million, 2,000, 3,000, that's a, that's a 99 point, you know, 97% failure. Or just let's round it up because let's say I'm wrong and let's just put it to 99%. So, let's say 10,000 of those actually make it out of the 100 million, 10,000 make it because they make it in different ways. Um, so still, every year, um, a significant number of businesses fail. So in thinking of that, I came up with the idea called a found up because, and, and I've taken the ideas and kind of 
the 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 the, the thinkings of Eric Reese and the Lean Startup and applied my own and a found up basically is this it's a founder with an idea for a lean startup bootstrapping not spending any money a prototype or proof of concept to prove his point now i um launched wikitube tv in last year um january of last year only to have it stolen by google and it made me realize that um you know that basically You know, I'm trying to think if I launched it in 2009 or 2000. I think I launched it. Yeah, I guess it was 2010. Um, my everything is. I got. I've got so much in the works. I can't remember now time frames. But basically, WikiTube TV um, was had 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 playlists, though it was an administrative function, and ultimately had continual streaming, which is now a function of Leanback um, um, that YouTube didn't have. And what it realized is, even if you, you 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 believe in the tag or you say you have the tag, you know, don't be evil. I believe screwing over a small little idea shop like mine is evil, personally, because I'm the one being screwed over, even though it was great validation. And um, ultimately, uh, I realized that ideas isn't enough. And what we needed behind entrepreneurs is really a 600-pound gorilla to protect them. So instead of me going at it alone, I have an entity behind me that can help me. Because right now, there's no such entity, all right? I'm, I could apply to, um, to uh, um, Techstars or Y Combinator, and if I'm fortunate enough to get into that institution, then I do have a network of folks, you know, helping me. Um, or I can do it alone. And doing alone sucks. So I came up with the idea of the open incubator. And the open incubator basically is a global incubator for FoundUps that operate under FoundUps Corp's umbrella. So we're a C Corp. And um, your $500, it's $500 to join our C Corp, um, our open incubator. And what you get is me, my team, my advisors, my system, my system, you know, my 16 years of experience to help you launch. And you, the thing is, you don't become a startup until we know you have a customer, and or seed investors and other stuff. So ultimately, we're providing you a, the missing framework because if without without a startup, without the found up, you're basically you're just on it your own. So. You know, I'm always, you know, my passion is about creating a collaborative framework for solving problems and versus the institution framework that's right now. Um, and I've got a lot of video talks and stuff. You can go through all my stuff and, you know, I'm kind of verbose as I'm, you're seeing right now. i got 13 minutes here. I'm looking at the clock here. Um, but ultimately, my whole personal philosophy comes down to one phrase I say, to say the word is to invoke that thing into being. To say the word is to invoke that thing into being. I was told that by my acting teacher, late acting teacher, Michael Joyce. Michael Joyce um, died of AIDS and um, you know he was one of my acting teachers at the Royal National Theatre uh, summer acting program in London that I attended when I was a college student. And um, what Michael would say was, as long as it's in your head, it's not real. And as long as your project is in your head or the ideas are in your head, they're not real. So the whole, my whole purpose of putting up these videos and, you know, sharing to Bruno about my vision for creating an autonomous learning platform in, in, in the hopes that he would tell Chris and others, you know, or maybe it'll somehow trickle down to Richard Branson, right? Because as long as I keep these ideas in my head, it's, it, there's no chance of it tricking land to Mr. Richard or getting to Chris. And um, and the moment I put them on the web, the moment you know the opportunity actualizes, the opportunity to them for being invoked. So I do these videos and I do these talks for a selfish reason more than anything else, because. 
I believe in that phrase to say the word is to invoke that thing into being and I do believe that um, the moment you get it out there the opportunity for them to happen 